Smartphones nowadays suck. Well, no, they don't. But ever since the removal of the 3.5mm jack, it's been difficult to find a way to listen to my banging beats without needing to get like a not very convenient dongle or Bluetooth. Uh, only if there was a product line that was actually going to potentially fix that issue that I don't have to get an annoying dongle anymore. I wonder what the... Hi, I'm Obi from Obi Audio Reviews, and you are tuned into Obi Reviews Audio, the show where I tell you what I think about some audio gear, and today we are going to be talking about the SimGot EW100DSP. Yes, this is not your run-of-the-mill EW100, this is the DSP version. This is currently priced at a whopping $24.99 US dollars. And it comes with a, a very interesting technology called the DSP or Digital Signal Processing. But what is that? W what even is Digital Signal Processing? Let's start talking about the unboxing first. The unboxing of the EW100 DSP is quite similar to the EW100P with a similar silver box with a cute shark up front, but this time it's in a barrel instead of a globe. Opening the box greets you with the EW100 DSPs, some paperwork, and some tips. Extremely bare-bones unboxing experience, but they had to cut costs somewhere. Here is a list of its full specifications. Since this is based on the EW100 platform, the EW100 DSP features a similar small, snug, and comfortable fit from its previous iteration. However, just like the EW100, it comes with a fixed cable which means cable rolling is a no-go. But you see, that's by design because as previously mentioned, the EW100 DSP comes with, well, a DSP. But what even is a DSP? In short, a DSP or digital signal processing is meant to improve the accuracy and reliability of digital communications. In IEM specifically, it is used to fine-tune either pre-existing IEMs or to create a completely new IEM with a processor most of the time in the form of a Type-C connector, partially having an effect to its tuning. One of the first ones to do this is the Moondrop Quarks DSP, which takes the original Quarks with the magic of DSP, retuning it to follow a more acceptable target. In the EW100 DSP's case, it changes just a little bit of the sound, but enough that it warrants its existence. So let's talk about it. Finally talking about the sound, if you are not familiar with the EW100 lineup, they follow the Harman 2016 target. As for the EW100 DSP, it follows the Harman 2019 target, which means you should expect uh, heaps amounts of bass, and then a bass suck, and then heaps amounts of upper mids to triple energy. We'll talk more about the sound later. Moving on to drivability, uh, it's it's a DSP IM, so you should expect basically almost any device for it to be adequately volumed, especially on say a smartphone. On PCs, it's going to be uh, a little bit much, uh, a little bit lower than usual, and on DAP, it's going to be much, much, much lower. Problem is definitely compatibility. I would say that there are some IEMs or, or some phones out there that are not going to be able to power the or work with the EW100 DSP. So definitely your mileage may and will vary on that regard. Talking about the bass response, you get a rather deep and hard hitting and very rumbly bass thanks to the amount of bass shelf that you get with the EW100 DSP. It is more a sub bass over mid bass because around the uh, mid bass area it starts to tuck down and go down which means you should also expect that uh, bass notes aren't going to be the most well defined but the rumble and the tactility and the feeling of the bass is definitely going to be there. As for the mids, yeah, ex expect a classic Harman mid-range which means there's going to be a bass duck which means it will affect the overall body and the overall I guess presentation of the lower mids being a little bit thinner, slightly more recessed, and the upper mids gradually rising to 
potentially a shoutier presentation could be a bit harsher, but it's definitely well controlled in the EW100 ESP. I found it shouty. It was quite clear. It was quite detailed. Um, uh, but expect, again, $25 amount of detail. It's not the crispiest. It's not the most nuanced. It's just, you know, clean. It's quite open, actually. It's very open sounding, which I really enjoyed. Um, but again, it's very much about $25 quality of mid-range. And as for the treble, it's forward, it's crisp, but I would say it's the most clean or it's the most well-extended. It's Harmon uh, type of treble anyway, so it's, it's very much forward and then starts dipping down on the upper treble. I would say it's decently smooth but there's a little bit of uh unrefined sound or a little bit of greeniness uh particularly in the upper mids uh transition into the lower treble um but the rest of the treble is fine not the most detailed not the most nuanced again it's not very analytical sounding it's more like it's forward but it doesn't really bring out the details all too much but it's sufficiently bright at least for my tastes uh but air can definitely use a little bit of more pizzazz and airiness and sparkliness and for its technicalities it's again twenty dollars you don't really much expect anything from twenty dollars in terms of technicalities it's decently wide sounding but not really tall or very much deep although the bass is there the mid bass definitely kind of takes away from the depth of the overall sound separation imaging layering all pretty much average but it's respectable for twenty dollars definitely really really solid now talking about some comparisons let's start with the quartz tsp the uh grandfather of tsp iams this is what started the whole trend of having dsp iams and i would say overall this is just a better iam the ew100 tsp is considerably better than the quartz tsp in every single way in terms of fitting in terms of the sound there's no weird or uh odd sound that the Quarks DSP produced. Uh, it actually worked on my phone, which was great. Uh, the, the, the EW100 DSP. And just overall, it's it's just better. I, I really don't see why you would get the Quarks DSP over this except for the price. Speaking of the price though, let's sort of compare it to the originals, the EW100 and the EW100P. I've only tried the EW100 P, uh, but I believe it's around the same tuning, just non-detachable for the EW100. And as for the sound, I would say it's a slightly tweak to be more fun sounding, the EW100 DSP at least. The EW100P is more of a neutral, slightly more balanced sound signature, while the EW100 DSP is more geared towards, towards a more fun, slight V-shaped sound signature that if you find uh, the EW100P a little bit stale, a little bit boring, then you're definitely gonna enjoy the EW100 DSP over the EW100P. And lastly, let's compare it to, you know, uh, uh, the talk of the town, Moondrop Chu 2, another very fun V-shaped set. I would say that the presentation of the base of the EW100 DSP is considerably cleaner compared to the Chu 2. The Chu 2's mid bass can be a little bit bleeding, a little bit uh, muffled and muddy, and the overall recession, I would say uh, it's a little bit more natural sounding on the Chu 2, but it's definitely much cleaner on the EW100 DSP. And as for the treble, I would say rather similar. I would say that the EW100 DSP edges it out a little bit in terms of raw detail but the true 2 is considerably smoother and less fatigued less fatiguing compared to the ew100 dsp but that's just you know in regards to the ew100 dsp compared to the true 2 i wouldn't say that the ew100 dsp is completely fatiguing or uh a harsh but eh, some people will definitely find it that way if you're very much sensitive to a little bit of peaks in the upper treble. I wouldn't say the EW100 DSP is completely fatiguing, but comparing it to the Chu 2, you might find the EW100 DSP to either be brighter and more energetic, or just overall a little bit harsher or uh, more fatigued. So to conclude, the EW100 DSP is honestly a fantastic DSP for the price. Sure, it may be a little bit bare bones, sure, there's no ear hooks or the fitting might be a little bit awkward because of the lack of the ear hooks 
But considering the sound profile of this is honestly really, really nicely done, I would say this is a must buy for anyone who's looking to gift either their friends or family uh, a nice alternative for having, you know, not having an audio jack on their smartphones and them having a Type-C. I guess the only issue that I would probably point out for the EW100 DSP is the fact that it is Harman tuned and some might not like the Harman tuning, but if you're looking for something fun, looking for something engaging, and you're looking for an alternative for not having a DAC amp or a separate DAC amp device and just having the earphones itself plug onto your Type-C jack, well, this SimGot EW100 DSP is for you. Definitely consider checking my cons my socials below as well. Consider joining the Discord server, check out Audio Notions, and with that, Obi Audio, out.